ZK Sync Community Update, September 2022, Community Update, only 24 days of the Mark Domain had left and we can feel the excitement in the community continue to rise. Let's have a look at the past month in this Community Update. ZK Sync 1.0, the ZK Sync 1. 0 followed the Ethereum merge and all operations went smoothly. We also upgraded the contracts to V9, ZK Sync 2.0 in July. We shared a detailed roadmap of ZK Sync 2.0's path to mainnet in September. We worked toward the completion of proof merging. Witness generation is completed on both our private and public testnet and are working on the integration of the GPU prover on the public testnet. We'll share details on timing for the proof merging milestone as it approaches. Project Registration We have already started the project registration and renewed our commitment to a fair launch. If you plan to launch your project on ZK Sync 2.0 Alpha Mainnet, please read our blog post for instructions. Block Explorer We launched our new Block Explorer for ZK Sync 2.0 Testnet. It brings a new UI and UX, smart contracts verification, token list, and a ZKEVM debugger. Feedback, issues, or a bug, we continue to make changes to our tools and documentation to provide a more efficient developer experience. We welcome feedback from the community on how we can improve the experience. Please share feedback in our Dev Feedback, Discord, or on GitHub for testnet issues using our template. You can also suggest changes on the documentation via a GitHub pull request. Do not forget, we also have an ImmuneFi bug bounty program. Ecosystem, our ecosystem is growing and growing fast. Joint the Mission series in August, we kicked off a Twitter series called Joint the Mission to highlight the ecosystem on a weekly basis. Joint the Mission 2, Joint the Mission 3. Joint the Mission 4, Joint the Mission 5, Ecosystem Highlight Articles. We also started publishing regular articles on ecosystem projects to dive into their use cases for ZK Sync and why they chose to build on the platform. September included Nexus Mutual, Hashflow, and a ramp. Community, we were present at Mainnet by Messari and SmartCon 2022. It was amazing to meet the community in person and to connect with the Chainlink community. We talked about Layer 3, had a developer workshop, and hosted social events. Discord changes. We incorporated the brand new Discord forums feature in our server to experiment with how we can improve the community experience. We always appreciate feedback on what we do so let us know how you like the forums feature. Here are a few of the changes made with more to come. Events and talks, Alex Glachowski, co-founder of ZK Sync, talked about EVM compatibility versus EVM equivalence at the Zero Knowledge Summit in Berlin and the 8th Global Blockchain Summit. Layer 2, Steve Newcomb, Chief Product Officer, talked about Layer 3 at Mainnet by Messari. And SmartCon 2022.Steve joined Crypto.com for an AMA and Uniswap for their community call. Steve joined Bankless for the State of the Nation. Steve joined The Block for Episode 93 of Season 4 of The Scoop. Anthony Rose, head of engineering, gave a developer workshop at SmartCon. We hosted a party at Delancey and Ludlow to close out day one of Mainnet by Messari. We hosted the official closing party for SmartCon by Chainlink at the Museum of Ice Cream. Remember, there is no token. Scams are on the rise. We've banned thousands of bots and scammers thanks to our community moderators and attentive Discord members. Be careful of scammers that will try to rush you into believing things. We will never direct message, DM, you first. And our official announcements are posted on our Twitter, and that's wrap. Thank you for watching.